board of state canvassers met for close to nine hours today. That group is responsible for considering and approving candidate petitions to appear on the ballot. CBS News Detroit's L Myers is on your block in Lansing with a look at who they decided made the cut to appear on the upcoming election ballot. Nasser Beydoun is off and Alyssa Slotkin is on. Those are just two of the decisions the Board of State canvassers made on Friday on who has sufficient valid signatures to appear on the ballot this coming summer and fall. I move that the board accept the staff recommendation and find the nominating petition filed by Nasser, Nasser Beydoun insufficient. It was the use of a post office box instead of a street address on Nasser Beydoun's petition to appear on the ballot for Michigan's U.S. Senate race. You make history by being the first Muslim American ever to get on a U.S. Senate ballot, then to have your nomination basically be discarded because of a minor technicality and 24,000 signatures be invalidated. Beydoun tells me he used a P.O. box on his petitions out of safety concerns. I have a wife, I have children, but I need to protect them. So to have your home address out there where anybody can access it, I get threats all the time on my social media. So, you know, you, and you never know when somebody crazy enough is going to act on those threats. The Board of State canvassers approved the petitions of more than 300 candidates for offices ranging from local judges up to congressional and Senate races. But the four member board did recognize just how technical some of the requirements were. The certification processes are always pretty um, complicated, difficult, a lot of tough choices that have to be made. and. As I kind of pointed out in the meeting, you know, we operate under strict compliance, meaning you need to follow the law and put fill the form out as, as instructed. Other candidates who face challenges to their petitions, like Democrat Curtis Hertel, who is running for U.S. Representative, and Mike Rogers, Justin Amash, and Sandy Penzler, all Republicans running for U.S. Senate, were approved to appear on the upcoming ballots. Reporting in Lansing, I'm Myers, CBS News, Detroit.